Welcome to my lecture online. At the recommendation of my better half, who does all the work behind the scenes to put all these videos on YouTube, she told me I should go ahead and do at least an example of how to do a multi-system calculation for the magnification. So here it is, three lenses, three different focal lengths with some distances between them. What will be the magnification of the final image relative to the original object. Hmm, I guess I need an object distance. So let's go ahead and put one together. Let's say that our original object distance S is equal to 50 centimeters. And where will the final image be at? And what will be the magnification? So let's go ahead and try that. So the first thing we want to do is start with the first equation that tells us that S1 prime is equal to the product of S1 F1 divided by S1 minus F1. Plugging those numbers in, S1 would be 50, because this is, of course, the distance to the first object, 50, times the focal length, that would be 10, divided by 50 minus 10, so that would be 500, divided by 40, that would be 4 goes into 50, that would be 12.5 centimeters. So 12.5 centimeters behind the first lens, I would find my first image. So there would be my first image. So that will call that image one, and that would be a distance of 12.5 centimeters, 12.5 centimeters. All right, I'll probably get pretty crowded in there. Okay, what will be the magnification, M1? Well, M1 is gonna be equal to minus the image distance, which is 12.5, divided by S1, which is 50, which is one quarter for that first magnification. It's gonna be negative, which means the image is going to be upside down, just like I suspected it would be. All right, so now we want to find S2 prime. S2 prime, which is gonna be S2 F2 divided by S2 minus F2. But now we need to find S2, that is the distance from the image to the second lens. And notice that if this is 12 and a half centimeters and the distance between the two lenses is five centimeters, the distance here would be 12.5 minus five. So this distance here would be 7.5 centimeters, 7.5. And since the object then would be behind the lens because image one becomes object two, behind the lens means that's a negative object distance. So in this case, that would be minus 7.5 multiply times F2, which is a minus eight centimeters, divided by minus 7.5, multiply times minus F2, that would be a minus eight. And notice I have to subtract that, not multiply it, because it's minus 7.5 minus eight. Oh, wait a minute, no, no, that's a minus minus eight. Oh, we gotta be very careful with the signs. I'm subtracting, an F2 and an F2 is minus eight. Okay, so what is that equal to? At this point we need a calculator, so we have 7.5. That gives us 120. So S2 prime is equal to a positive 120 centimeters. A positive 120 centimeters means it puts it way back here somewhere. So there it is, way back here somewhere. And um, let's see, let's see. That's kind of interesting. Oh yes, that makes sense. All right, uh, so it's way back there, 120 centimeters behind the second lens. So now we can go ahead and plug that in here for our second magnification. So it's minus a positive 120 divided by S2, which was a negative 7.5. So now we have the magnification caused by the second lens. Now we need to find the position of the third image. So S3 prime is equal to S3 times F3 divided by S3 minus F3, which is equal to. Now what is S3 equal to? Notice that S, um, S2 prime, S2 prime, so our image two becomes our object three. So S2 prime is equal to 120 centimeters behind the second lens. Now the distance between the second and third lens is 10 centimeters, which means that this distance here, S, is going to be the absolute value of that is gonna be 120 minus 10 or 110 centimeters. 
but since the object again is behind the lens, in this case behind the third lens, that will give us a negative object distance. So that will be a minus 110 multiplied times F3, which is a positive 12, divided by S3, which is minus 110, minus 12. So this is going to be equal to... And they'll give us a let's see, a negative, a negative is a positive, and what do I get? Hmm, 10.8, 10.8 centimeters, so positive 10.8 centimeters, which means that it's going to bring it back just 10.8 centimeters behind the third lens. So here's my third image, image three, and this distance here will be 10.8 centimeters behind the third lens. Now we're ready to go ahead and plug in the magnification of the third lens. So it's minus an S3 prime, that would be a minus 10.8, divided by S3, and S3 was a negative 110. Okay, now we're ready to calculate the magnification of each of these. So in the first one, notice we had a magnification of minus a quarter. So this was equal to minus one quarter, which means that the first image was only one quarter the size of the original object, and it was upside down, because if our object is right side up, then the image, because the negative, will be upside down. How about the next one? So let's calculate the next one. That would be 120 divided by 7.5. That's 16. That's a positive 16. So that means the magnification from the first image to the second image was 16 times. Multiply times one-fourth, that means that the second image is four times the size of the original object. And because it didn't change the direction from the first image to the second image, because it's a positive number, that means it's still upside down, but now four times as large. Now let's go to our third magnification. So it's 10.8 divided by 110. That would be zero point close enough to 0 0.1, so let's call it 0 0.1. It's going to be positive again, so that means that from the second image to the third image is now being reduced by a factor of 10 to 1. So the total change is going to be equal to minus 0 0.4. That will be the total magnification, which means that the final image is 40% the size of the original object, and it's going to be upside down and the distance is going to be 10.8 centimeters behind the third lens. So here we have a very nice example of how to work through a multi-lens system where the lenses are separated by one, from one another by some distances and we're trying to find the total magnification caused by sending the rays from the original object through all three lenses. And that's how it's done.